mesh right here. You notice uh, there are three, not 120s, but 140s. Oh, there we are, a little bit of a jolt, but nice and snug in there. Yeah, I've got them set out because I've got the radiator in it, and it's a 280. So nicely go with the two 140 fans. So I got, I don't know what I said earlier, but anyway, three 140 fans. I know the RGB one, flash, flash, bling, bling, has three 120s. This is three 140s. And yes, it fits in there exactly in there, <laughs> in there. And the mod that had to be done with it now, I, I would, would have to take those, you know, those little screws from the other side of the, uh, the, the bracket that's back in here, which there's a radiator. You can see right in there. The, uh, well, I'm gonna need to put a light on the subject. Uh, let's see, I can do that. Uh -huh. As you can see, there's a radiator, the 280 radiator, which is a EVGA. It's not put in there yet. That's a uh, X, uh, yeah, two, X299. Uh, this is the Prime Edition 30. In this, and I've got two. I'm really full blown in the EVGA cooling, aren't I? Uh, 1080 Ti hybrid, uh, which I've got them up there in the top. Two, two. Uh, well, there are two 120 radiators for each one of the graphics cards. As you can see, how I got it. <clears throat> Tell you what the the uh, front cover of these things are really on there pretty tight. You really got to give them a good tug. Thought I was going to yank the thing off on the floor, getting the uh, getting that off there. But you know, it's set like that in case you have a uh, radiator that goes all the way down, which the radiator stops right here. As you can see, there's the fan. The other 140 Leon Lee fan right there. Oh, well, yeah, so, and uh, when I get all this, I'm waiting for my chip to come in. It'd be nice to get that rocket like that they're talking about. I just think it's supposed to be coming in probably the mid 2021. Hey, it's my little girl. Okay, Michaela. And, um, and instead, I'm putting a, uh, hmm, I always get these numbers mixed up as well. 10980XE. Uh, anyway, uh, put in the 18 core. Th uh, yeah, 36 thread CPU will be going in there probably the next day or so. And it's got nice VRM cooling. There's 16. Uh, Phases, phasers in there. Uh, I almost want to say cam phaser, so I've been a mechanic all my life. <laughs> but I do, do this on the side, so. Anyway, you might be able to see those chokes underneath there. But this is really <clears throat> is uh, got the good the good VRMs in this this right here. Yeah. Uh huh. There's snowflake. My snowflake. We, she was completely white when she was born, and she turned into a little Siamese-looking kitty cat. I guess her father was Siamese. And so there we are. And got the HP 
ridge on there and got it all about ready to got to put my transformer in there. I got a 1200 watt should be in here tomorrow, I think. Okay, get this all set in and uh, it was a pretty nice build. Brilliant. And I did have to use the old Dremel <laughs> to do some mods, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. I had to cut the piece off right up here that comes out above the radiator because it came out down here. And to be able to put this radiator, position it where I needed to put it in this, to be able to have the fans in the order it was in and where I wanted it. And plus I wanted it up a little bit higher because I needed to clear this which it, it just has just enough to reach it. So there was more than one reason to modding this um, <clears throat> radiator support, fan radiator support in the front. And uh, flipped it around and put it in the, the uh, other slide that, you know, flip, had to flip it and turn it around. And a lot of people, y'all know how these um, land cool two meshes are done. I think Steve Burke did a great job on the Gamers uh, Nexus and uh, on this case and on the land cool, uh, the regular land cool. It didn't have the mesh in the front or had semi mesh. This one here has the better cooling. So I'll have this up and going and I'll let you know on the temps on this thing when I get it going. Of course, this will be nice and cool. Whoops. And uh, whoops, there we are. Uh, my battery's about to go dead on this thing. I thought I would just post this. Yes, they will go. And I have had them all the way back inside this and it will go all the way back. But the problem you got to watch out for is uh, you're going to go too far back where everything's back a little bit further. The radiator, it will get kind of close to that. Plus, it's hard to wedge it in there. And I wanted, I like this neatness right here. So if I can take this out, put it in so I can leave it right there. Still have full flow air going to the underneath and then I'm going to put two 120s here. I'll probably put just one 120 right here uh, because the air is always pushing this way. So it's going to have a flow going up this way. And then, uh, so, <clears throat> you know, I think that'll work out really good. So there it is. There's my Leon Lee Land Cool Tube Mesh build. And I uh, hope you like it. And oh yeah, by the way, these are Noctua uh, 140s uh, fans that everybody likes. Because I didn't care too much for that color brown. <laughs> so I went with this right here. And uh, they're nine blade, which they seem to work really good. And they uh, really work good with the nine blade. The only fans, so I think it'll be a great um, advancement to cooling this radiator, and that's a EBGA 280 uh, CLC. Uh, so there you go, there you have it. I'll get this thing up and going as soon as I get the uh, power supply in. I got everything like so. All righty. Mm -hmm. Guess I should show a little light to it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I need to get some light in here. <laughs> the lighting is not the best. The flashlight? Come on. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, so there. Mm -hmm. Put this dude back on. I think I may already show you that. Goes together nicely. I tell you what, the fit and finish, the engineering of these cases are great. 
Man. It's love Leon Lee cases. Man, they're great. I have a Leon Lee 11 Air in there. There you go. Hope you like it.